hey guys, um, okay, so you saw the map just before this, um, just uh, mile by mile, um, plus I have the other video that I'll just post up, kind of explain it every mile. Um, overall the race was, um, it was awesome. It was the hardest thing I ever did in my life, um, but um, I had a, I had a, I had a really good time. Um, uh, it was really, um, I don't know, it was really just cool to know that I was able to do what I did. Um, there are things that I, I did, I did mention in the other thing. Um, there are things that I need to do differently. Um, I need to turn the light on. Hold on. That better? Yeah. There's things I need to do differently uh, the next go-round. This sucks. There we go. You can see me this way. Uh, there's things I need to do differently the next time around. Um, I definitely am bringing music. Um, I underestimated, like I said in the other thing, I underestimated how far away the music was from each other and how you couldn't hear it most of the time. Um, the first part of the course was okay. Um... Mile, obvious, the first mile was great, second mile was horrible, third mile um, was pr pretty good. Um, just I'm just saying, like, as far as entertainment value. Um, fourth mile was good because you're running back past your family and the finish, um, which by the time I got to the fourth mile, the, uh, the winner of the race was already done, probably sitting in a jacuzzi or something. Um, fifth mile was okay. Because uh, you're still kind of running off of the energy from, you know, all the all the um, spectators, I guess. Uh, six, seven, eight horrible miles. <laughs> um, the band, uh, only one band was playing, and it was closer to the eight-mile mark. Um, the seven-mile mark, there was nobody really playing. Um, they had, they had like, radio going over their speakers. And they were just really long miles. Um... Mile 9 was decent, because that's the turnaround point where you're heading back toward the finish. And 10, 11, 12, um, again, you, at that point, you're just, you're heading back toward, you know, your medal, your finish. Um, so it, it, those miles weren't so hard. Uh, I just really kind of, in a way, got drugged back a little bit running with uh, someone I met in the race. Uh, I kind of started chatting, because uh, in the seven, 6, 7, and 8 miles, um, with this runner, um, because it was so boring, I needed to kind of break the, uh, the, the brain deadness, um, so I started running with him, he had an injury that he was working on, um, and it, it slowed me up a little bit more, I mean, he was, he was actually a faster runner than I was, because when we actually broke, because he did start running, when I started going at it at 13, he ran too, and he actually finished ahead of me, but he actually, his time was about three minutes behind mine because he started the race sooner than I did. Uh, they did like a wave start. So they started the elite runners. And after that first corral of elite runners, they start the next set of runners, which would be um, about a minute and a half later. I was all the way back in 15. Originally, I was in 17. I moved myself up to 15 because I thought my time was going to be faster. Um, so if you figure a minute and a half... And they were doing corrals two at a time. So a minute and a half, I was 15 back. So half of that is about seven minutes. It was more than seven minutes. So it was, well, a minute and a half times seven. So it was a good... By the time I left, it was a good 20 minutes um, before I left the start line. Um, I think it might have been more than that. Um, and that's where I had to... And then I had the problem where I didn't have a watch, which I brought it with me. I found it in the car after the race. So it really was hard... Uh, not knowing my time, um, I think if I had at least that on my wrist, because trying to do the math in the race, um, and not really knowing where I was, and, and how many minutes I had started late, um, it was really difficult to try and figure out, so, um, so next time, bring my watch, <laughs> make sure it's on my wrist, um, bring an iPod, bring some music, and, um, don't run with gimpy people. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I didn't mind. It was it was nice talking to the the, um, the kid, and um, it really it it broke my my mental my mental deadness. Um, but I had a ball. Um, I finished in three hours and twenty three seconds. So I think yeah. Again, if if I would have did 
at least what I sh know I could have done in those um, 9, 10, and 11 miles, um, I probably would have been at least probably a good f 4 or 5 minutes under what my finishing time was. But I don't care. I finished it, um, and that just kind of sets a time for me to beat next time. Um, I'm definitely going to do the same run next year. And um, my goal in a year is to finish it, beat it by an hour. Um, so I have a whole year to do that. Uh, I want to do another half. I, I, I want, I'd I like to do another half in a month, but um, I don't know. Um, I'm having a little foot issue. So, um, and um, it doesn't hurt right now because I took a, a Motrin. <laughs> um, a prescription strength Motrin that I have, um, so it's it's pretty good. My muscles, um, let's see, I was really tight the evening of the race, after the race, um, I, di I did a lot of um, kind of warm soaks. I, I really, 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 really should have did an ice bath, um, but by the time I got home and, and was going to decide to do it, it was kind of already too late to do one, um, so I I think next time around I'm gonna definitely do that. I know it's it it sounds like it's awful, but um, it looks like it's it's a good benefit. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so I, I want to do another one. The only thing is the the outside of my foot, um, not the arch side, the out, the outer side of my foot. I am having like kind of like a sharp pain on my right foot. Um, it's not. It it's if I put a lot of weight on it, it's kind of pretty grueling. That didn't kick in until probably like four, four, yeah, four, five, no, it would have been later. Yeah, like five o'clock. So I had already been done the race a good six hours or so. That's when my foot started bothering me. Um, but, um, I don't know. Everything turned out awesome. Um, I definitely, I'm definitely doing another one, um, at some point. Uh, I couldn't imagine doing a full marathon at this point. Uh, that, full marathon, especially the way I pushed myself the last mile. That last mile, I put everything I had into it. And when I went to finish, I practically passed out. Um, no, I'm not even joking. So, um, I don't know. Um, it was great. Um, if, if you all are, um, running and, um, you get to a point where you're, you're putting on some distance, I would definitely suggest it. I would suggest anything. Even if you're doing a couch to 5K and you get to the 5K point, do a 5K. Um, I did one back when I was just starting also. Um, the run's just... It's like a confidence booster. And if you think about it, not many people are doing doing it, you know. You're getting up in the morning, going, make, doing a run, getting your time. You know, you get, you get like, in the 5Ks and stuff, you get a t-shirt usually or something. Just kind of a, like a memory thing. Um... And, um, with this... Oh, my finisher's metal. Hold on. Let me show you. Oh! So, here's my finisher's metal. It's pretty cool. Liberty Bell, because of Philly. Um, and then you, on the back, you can kind of see it. I got it engraved for 20 bucks. They put, they put your name here, and then your finishing time, which I wasn't too happy about my finishing time. But, you know, after I let it sink in, I'm like, you know what? I finished, and that's all it is about, finishing, finish what you start, get up, off your butt, um, we're all out here losing weight, working on ourselves, um, and this was just another kind of, you know, step in the right direction, and I am addicted, um, I love running, and I can't imagine, um, not doing it at this point, so, I'm gonna end it here, because it's already like 10 minutes, and I'll see y'all later. Keep up the good work.